the landmark vote has been touted as the first time the African nation will hold an election without the former strongman in almost four decades, but although Mugabe is not on the ballot, his influence continues to be felt. The now disgraced 94-year-old could not resist stepping back into the political arena on the eve of the vote. In his first major political statement since being ousted from office last November, Mugabe said he will not vote for his former party ZANU-PF or the current president, Emerson Mnangagwa. I can't vote for ZANU-PF, I can't vote for the people who have brought me into this state, Mugabe said during a press conference in the garden of his home in Harare on Sunday, I must say clearly I cannot vote for those who have tormented me. I can't, the ailing former revolutionary added. I will make my case among the other 22, out of the 23 candidates, it is unclear whether or how Mugabe's intervention will influence voters. He was forced to resign late last year after nearly four decades in power, following a crisis sparked by his decision to fire Munangagwa, his then vice president. Now, Munangagwa is president and head of the Mugabe's former party ZANU PF. Far from being free, whatever Mugabe might have been up to in his months of exile, the target of his return to the political spotlight was clear. Mugabe accused 75 year old Munangagwa, his party, and the army of creating an environment for Zimbabweans that is far from being free. I have during that time, during all this time, cried for return. Our return to constitutionality, our return to legality, our return to freedom for our people an environment in which our people will be free, they have not been free, Mugabe said. Since that day when tanks rolled through and across the country when there was a takeover by the army, Mugabe added he wanted the benefits his family was given to be honored by those in power and denounced attacks against his family, especially his wife. I'd accept the denunciations and vilifications that are going on of my wife every day in the papers for nothing, he said. Perhaps through her they think by attacking her they are attacking me. Leave, leave, leave my wife alone, Menangagwe used Mugabe's intervention to attack his main rival, 40-year-old Nelson Kamiz of Zimbabwe's Movement for Democratic Change, MDC, claiming the former leader had forged a deal with the MDC. Now that it is clear to all that Kamiza has forged a deal with Mugabe, we can no longer believe that his intentions are to transform Zimbabwe and rebuild our nation, Menangagwa, who served Mugabe for decades. Said in a brief taped statement on Sunday, the choice is clear, you either vote for Mugabe under the guise of Kamiza, or you vote for a new Zimbabwe under my leadership and the ZANU-PF. Real change is coming. We should all be part of it, Kamiza called Menangagwa's response panicky during a press conference later that day, in which he assailed the country's election commission for its role in the elections, saying it was biased in favor of Menangagwa. Kamiza took over the leadership of the MDC following the death of its founder and longtime anti-Mugabe activist Morgan Svingarai, who died from cancer in February. He is hoping to target younger voters with promises of electoral reform, tax cuts and jobs. People are connecting with young leadership, Kamiza told Agence France Press. There have been few public appearances by Mugabe and his wife Grace, nicknamed Gucci Grace because of her love of luxury, since their fall from power. They have been spending time in Singapore, where he receives medical treatment, and their plush 25-room residence in Harare. Results of Monday's general election are expected by August 4, as the country's constitution requires the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission to release results within five days of the polls closing. CNN's Columbus S. Mavunga, Lahadir Pasha and Sheena McKenzie contributed to this report.